What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Noob Tube. I am Show Me a Noob, aka Nick. That's what you want to call me. We're all friends here. It doesn't matter what you call me. So, when I recorded my last video, I did say somewhere in that that I would be recording another video like this, or you know, camera, uh, face cam, um, detailing my entire content creation journey. Um, it's not as small as what most people think. So, a lot of people know that I started streaming on Twitch in 2018, technically. <laughs> um, and I've been going on Twitch for over three years now. Actually, my three-year affiliate anniversary is April 5th, which we're going to talk about in this video, why that's so special. Um, and But a lot of people don't know or didn't know that I actually started content creating back in 2010. Um, August 2010 to be precise. And that's really big. And a lot of people requested this video after I told the story on Twitch. Um, I asked if people wanted to see it. And lo and behold, they do. So uh, let's just hop right into it. So like I said, I started content creating in August 2010. Um, I was not always show me a noob though. Actually, I was under the name Multi Dragon Gamers. Don't laugh. It's not funny. Um, but uh, I was mainly playing uh, FPS games like Modern Warfare 2. Actually, my first ever video, which I still have, is the only video I have access to from back then, was uh, me just trying to knife as many people as I could on Rundown. I think that was the name of the map and uh modern warfare 2 and the way i did it was i had my 360 i had a tripod i used my sister's flip camera vertical video camera i don't even know if they make those things anymore on the tripod pointed at the tv screen and that was how i that was how i recorded videos for a long 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 time and i was still in high school so i kind of had time to record kind of didn't um like Modern warfare 2 started it and then black ops came out and i did a lot of wager matches a lot of wager match videos and then halo reach as well did a lot of some halo reach videos i think i even did a madden video it good gracious let me tell you something there was a lot of content that went on uh, back then um and that went good i was getting hundreds of views on the videos i don't remember how many subs i had because like i said this was 11 years ago uh, or 11 10 9 10 11 years ago and uh, i don't remember how many subs that channel had um i even tried streaming on twitch way back in the day this was 2012 i believe when i started streaming on twitch or tried streaming on Twitch, not started, tried, and I hated it. <laughs> All the software was new, um, newish. I couldn't figure out how to do it. Um, the only one I was able to figure out how to use, it was a little orange D, and you dragged it over to the screen you wanted to capture, and that's how you started recording. That was the only thing I ever decided to uh, use, because everything else I could not figure it out. And I streamed, I think you were only able to use it five times before you had to start paying for it. And I think I streamed five times. I think I used those five times, actually. I streamed, I remember streaming League of Legends because I was really big in the league back then. And, um, yeah, that was, I mean, sitting, not talking playing league you, i didn't get much traction obviously despite twitch being newly converted from justin tv uh back then and uh honestly i wonder if that software even exists to be honest um unfortunately in 2012 uh tragedy struck and someone was able to i still don't know how they did it uh, get access to my YouTube and delete it. Um, I think it was more so the email 
because I don't remember being able to get back into the email afterwards. But regardless, I had lost everything. The subs, the views, everything was gone. And that really got to me. You know, I mean, I was only, I think I was 17 when everything got deleted. And that was... Even talking about it now, I still get upset because it's like, if I was able to keep going on that channel, where would I be? You know, um, I've never been able to get that traction back, but I feel like that's because I just did not have the drive. I think I said that in my last video as well. And um, I tried relaunching in 2013 uh, under the name mdg i was actually able to get my name back at first after the youtube channel got deleted i tried to immediately remake the channel and under multi-dragon gamers and it said the name was already in use um so i didn't even didn't even bother but that was also when i was able to get my name show me a noob which uh if you don't know how i've gotten the name show me a noob there's a few few uh reasons first reason is when i started playing lee i was playing with some friends and they were like hey you're a noob show me a noob <laughs> that's the probably the main one uh secondly uh there's this game called s4 league uh if you don't know s4 league it's like an anime style uh battle arena game with different game modes and that game, at the beginning of every match, it says, fight, show me S4. And I was also a noob at that, so show me a noob came there as well. And then, of course, my favorite Smash character is Captain Falcon. Of course, you know, he says, show me your moves. So there's quite a different, few different ways I got the name, uh, show me a noob. But anyway, that's the name I came back with in 2013. Unfortunately... <laughs> Um, like I said, I just, it was never the same. I didn't have the drive, but I was able to get my name back. <laughs> I think a couple weeks, a couple months later. Um, if actually, if you scroll all the way back on my YouTube, you'll find my MDG season three, uh, intro video. I even made little intro videos, like a dragon roaring in the background. Each season, I would have like a new dragon added. Season three had three dragons. Season two had two. You, you get the picture, but, and that was... It was rough. It was rough. I mean, you could definitely tell in earlier videos on this channel that I've I've had to basically rely on a second person to kind of carry the video because I just didn't want to. I mean, I feel like I only relaunched because I I figured I'd be able to gain my viewers back and. That did not happen. <laughs> um, you can find that some of my Five Nights at Freddy's videos uh, that I recorded. They got a lot of views. I mean, but FNAF was also big at the time. You were able to use tags. Tags also mattered back then. <laughs> um, now they don't really. So yeah, it, it was just really rough. Really rough after my channel got deleted and I had to remake it. And yeah, so... After that, though, uh, in 2016, 2017, um, myself, uh, Atlas Floor, and Dr. Double Rainbow, which if you've been in my channel, you know who those two are, we tried starting a group channel under the name Multi-Dragon Gamers. They said it didn't even we didn't even have to remake one because gamers implied that there were multiple people, and I already had that name, so why not use it, you know? And that worked for a bit we were actually we had a day where we would stream on youtube a day where we would post a series video and a day where we would post just a random video and that worked for a few months unfortunately uh life and pc issues got in the way that was back when i had my toshiba laptop and i was trying to record videos with that and if you go uh, I'm going to keep referencing older videos. Uh, my Dead by Daylight videos. 
that I have on the channel, my uh, Undertale videos, all of those were recorded on that laptop. And it was not very good. <laughs> I'm going to say that it was not, not very good at all. So after, after that, um, uh, kind of faded into, uh, where we weren't posting and we just kind of stopped. I had to sit back and think what I wanted to do. Did I want to continue streaming? Or did I want to continue posting videos? Or did I just want to do something else? In late 2017, I opened my Twitch channel. I believe I was still under the name Multi Dragon Gamers at the time, but I can't remember. It might have been under Show Me a Noob. I think I changed it before I started streaming. Uh, I started streaming, but it was very sporadic. It was like a stream like every week or every two weeks. Uh, streaming nothing but like Friday the 13th and Dead by Daylight. And I started to notice that I found it a lot easier to sit down for a few hours live <laughs> than to sit behind a camera like I'm doing now and record a video. I also did no editing whatsoever back then. So my videos weren't exactly top quality <laughs> so after that that is when i recorded the update video to end all update videos and i was like okay i've started to gain followers i've got the amazing support of my uh family uh my girlfriend and my friends and i think i'm gonna go for it I think I'm going to start streaming regularly. And that is why January 27th or 28th, 2018 is so big. Because that is when I started streaming regularly on Twitch. And like I said, I had amazing support. It um, Some people take months, way more months than I did. And even years to hit affiliate. And I hit it when I was at PAX East 2018. PAX East 2018, I, it was the end of the first day, and I, we were getting ready to leave for the day, and I got the affiliate email, I went back to the hotel, filled it out, by the time I got back, I was ready uh, to start streaming as an affiliate. Now, at PAX East 2018, also on the first day, um, is a story that I have that a lot of people have heard. My, my community might be sick of me telling it, but it's a story that I feel like I have to tell, and it's also helped a lot of people. Um, so the first panel I went to at PAX East 2018 was uh, called the Twitch Town Hall. Basically, you know, um, emphasizing what's coming to Twitch, what you can expect, and on that panel, was my favorite content creator and YouTuber and even streamer, uh, Gassy Mexican. Now, if you're watching this video, you may or may not know who he is. I definitely recommend uh, checking him out. He's hilarious. But regardless, he was on that panel. It was him, a couple other partner streamers, and the person running the panel. And we got to the end of the panel, and you know they're doing they're doing the Q and A. Um, I'm a chicken, so I did not get in the line. <laughs> for any panel I went to but one of the people uh, asked a question and he said what do you recommend for a small street they did not let him finish and Gassy and the other content creators that were up there said never call yourself a small streamer you are growing. You are improving. You do not have to have a ton of followers or views to make a difference. I have stuck by that to this day. You'll never hear me call anyone a small streamer. You'll never hear me call anyone 
too small. You never even hear myself call my... I've never even called myself a small streamer. Because that moment is drilled into my head. Not only was it amazing advice, it was also coming from, like I said, my favorite content creator. So hearing that, just... It, it hit. It, it really did. And like I said, I've carried that to this day. And when I got home from PAX East, it was more of a, what do I do now? Like I'm affiliate. I need emotes. <laughs> I need, uh, I was still streaming on bear, bear, bear stuff. I had, I had no starting scene screen, no, none of that. And not long after I got home from PAX East, I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I should take this to Facebook or at the time, I wasn't using Twitter that much, but uh, Facebook. While searching just Twitch in the search bar, I found Twitch streamers at networking. They're a networking group, obviously, and there's a ton of amazing people in it. And honestly, I've been in a few orgs. I've been in a few groups. But I have to say that T-San has taught me so much. And they've also kind of shaped the uh, Show Me a Noob of 2018, 2019. I mean, even now, uh, I can't say anything bad about T-San. I am very very happy that i was able to join so early in my content creator uh in my streaming career because it's taught me so much and honestly they're the number one number one reason why i feel like i am where i am today and i can't thank them enough i i really can't uh not long after that I met a fellow streamer while playing Friday the 13th. Uh, he gave my first raid. He gave, he was one of my first subs. And um, I was wondering by this time, I was like, I mean, I'm starting to build a community. But what do I, what do I, what do I call them? And he said, noob tubers. And that has stuck. I have called my followers the noob tubers for years. And I call my subscribers the new subscribers. And that has all stuck for so long. And I can't, I cannot uh, thank um, all those people enough. He even gave me my, the first person that made my starting soon screen that I even still use now. Kinda. It's been tweaked a little bit, but... <laughs> All my graphics that I still use were at one point made by uh, someone. Even my even my first emotes were made by, I think that's the same person. Might have been a different person. I think it was the same person though. But regardless, um, definitely uh, was amazing. And I, in TSAN, I've been streamer of the week. I've been in multiple buddy challenges making ton of friends uh lifelong friends like honestly like once you get to know certain uh, other streamers you you you're you're stuck <laughs> like there there there's some amazing people that i've met in that group and even the other orcs that i've been in but like i said t sand has just been so cordial in my growth that i cannot thank them enough um it went steady there for a while uh, from April 2018 to probably about September, I got my biggest raid to the to date, which I'm still shocked about. <laughs> um, August 2019 was when I hit my 1K follower mark. Now that's insane, <laughs> considering that. 1k after a year and a half 
of streaming. Not even a year and a half. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, a year and a half. From from January 2018 to August 2019, that's a year and a half, right? Pretty sure it's like a year and a half. So, it took me a year and a half to hit 1,000 followers. And that was insane. I mean, just from August 2018 to August 2019, I was at a little under 300 uh, at the end of August. I think actually, actually, I think I just hit 300 at the end of August 2018. And then 700 followers in a year. I, I am in awe of how much growth that was. And really, it, are there things that I could change? Yeah. Would I? I don't know. I can't really decide. I've had to make a lot of changes though. Like I stated in my last video that I have chronic migraines, which I've had since I was like, actually since I, since I think I started uh, stream, uh, content creating. I think it was 2010 when I got uh, diagnosed with them. But that has caused a lot of changes along with school, work. And I've had to drop, I was streaming five days a week for a long time. Long time. Let me tell you something. <laughs> long time. <laughs> five days a week. I had theme days, two theme days, and then the rest of the days were just random at the time. Um, but after a while, uh, five became way too much. Especially when I started canceling a lot. Um, I had to change things. And I, like I said, I've gone from five to four to three to two. But you have to know your limits. And while I still do cancel, it's not nearly as bad. <laughs> I am a lot more energetic. I'm a lot more talkative now that I stream two days as opposed to five days. You have to take care of yourself. If you have a community built, you have to take... I mean, even if you don't have a community built... Take care of yourself. Seriously. People will be there when you come back. I've taken two breaks. I've taken a month break and I've taken like a three week break. They will be there when you come back. Trust me. I know. <laughs> and. It's just insane. This journey. It really is like. Looking back in 2010, if I had to go tell 15-year-old me one thing, it'd be, don't quit. Because while I am very inconsistent with posting videos, or was, I'm trying to get out of that habit, I never quit. I never straight up said, despite me being so down after my first channel got deleted, I never quit. I remade the channel. I kept posting videos. They may not have done as good as my first videos, but I kept posting. Um, I started streaming and I still have not quit. That was one of the things that I was worried about when I started streaming on Twitch was if I get to stick to it, I mean, three and a half years later, I'd say I'm doing a pretty good job. Almost three and a half years later, I'd say I'm doing a pretty good job. Um, but anyway, that's the video, y'all. Thanks for watching. I know this is another long one, but like I said, uh, it's been requested. Instead of going through Twitch and finding all the clips from when I talked about it on my stream, uh, <laughs> I have a video now that you can listen to. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And turn on the bell to get uh, notifications when, this, when the videos go up. Uh, my next video will hopefully be the start of a Sims 4 series. So be on the lookout for that. Um, until next time on the YouTube, y'all, show me noob sign out. I will catch y'all later.